Norman was a pretty average guy. A middle-aged IT specialist who had been working for the same company for 15 years. He was single, had the same group of friends he had back in high school, and had no other hobbies than spending his weekends playing video games or going to the movies. Oh, and he was always carrying a bag of sweets and snacks with him. Mm. Let's be honest, Norman neglected his body image as much as his social life, but he didn't seem to care. He seemed comfortable with what he had and didn't aspire to anything beyond that. He had a stable job, could have a bit of fun on the weekends, and overall didn't have anything to worry about. And also, he didn't like surprise changes. Or at least, that's what Norman would say, because deep down, he was feeling very frustrated. It makes sense, since he'd been working the exact same job for 15 years and had never found a stable partner. However, it's not like he had a lot of initiative, and he wasn't very friendly either. Instead, he was very arrogant and had a terrible temper. Only his lifelong friends could stand him. He was insufferable to his co-workers, who had already made many complaints about his aggressive behavior. The most frequent victim of his anger was the office's photocopier. The machine was pretty old, so it was normal for it to get jammed or to malfunction every now and then. And whenever that happened, Norman would get crazy angry and would start hitting the machine, <laughs> yelling every swear word under the sun. And that doesn't make it any better. His sarcastic comments and vile responses made this situation unbearable, and the boss had to make a decision. After 15 years, Norman was finally fired, with nothing more than a pat on the back and a cardboard box to put his stuff in. He really screwed up this time. However, instead of trying to apologize to his co-workers, or at least say goodbye in a polite way, he decided to go out with a bang. Resentful towards everyone in the company, he decided to share his thoughts with them through a goodbye note, which consisted of a photocopy of his butt. <laughs> and not just one, he wanted to cover the entire office with copies of his rear. He had everything planned. He would stay up late in the office, with the excuse of having to pack all of his things to take them home. Once alone, he would be able to use the copying machine with no interruptions. However, sitting on that machine wasn't very comfortable, and he struggled to be able to put his buns on there. Once he sat on the glass, he thought he heard a slight crack, but he didn't give it much importance. I'm not so fat as to break it, am I? And so, he proceeded to push the print button, and just like always, the machine got jammed. And once again, Norman started making a monumental tantrum. He started hitting the machine so much, moving from one side to the other, that the glass of the surface finally broke, making Norman fall and get stuck in the machine, getting cuts and bruises in the process. He tried yelling for help, but there was nobody left in the office. He could have gotten out of the machine by himself, if he wasn't so fat. And soon enough, his blood fell on the circuits, frying him in an instant. The next day, his co-workers found him dead, first thing in the morning, and although they immediately alerted an ambulance, they could do little. It's clear that Norman's way of being and behavior with his companions wasn't right, but he still didn't deserve such a humiliating ending either. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you on the next episode!